Hey, this is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and today we are going to talk about installing and setting up third-party interfaces. First thing you need to do is download the drivers for your interface. So go to your manufacturer's website and get the latest drivers for your operating system and interface. So I'm just going through a sped up process here of getting the drivers for my M-Audio Firewire 410. Also at this point, I would typically recommend to not have your interface turned on. So uh, do the driver process with the interface shut off, and then after the drivers are installed, then turn your interface on. So now that they're downloaded, let's go ahead and run the drivers. The first thing after you get the drivers installed, uh, get the interface plugged in and working, is you want to open up the control panel and go to the sound settings. Anytime you install a new interface, Windows will typically make it the default interface as it's doing here. The problem with that is typically Windows now will take control of the sample rate setting and you won't be able to adjust it in Pro Tools. And then when you try to create, open a session, anything like that in Pro Tools, it'll typically throw back up an error window like this. So what you need to do from here is get another device to be the default playback device for Windows. Uh, there's different options here such as the NVIDIA stuff, uh, this Acer setting here is uh, speakers that are built onto my monitor, or you can go up here to some of the other uh, high definition devices which are typically the built-in uh, motherboard devices which is typically going to be the default um, but you can choose whichever one you prefer to use set that as default so the next thing we want to do is open the control panel for our newly installed interface uh, sometimes you can access it here in the taskbar or sometimes it might be in the control panel uh, depending on how they designed it um, and in this case, the 11 rack, for instance, is only accessible in the control panel. So the next thing we want to do is open up the settings for the interface. Uh, there is going to be some variation here among interfaces as Pro Tools is not able to automatically switch all interfaces, uh, sample rates, and buffer settings. So some interfaces will require you to shut down Pro Tools, adjust your buffer size, relaunch Pro Tools, or if you change the buffer size of Pro Tools open, you'll have to close and restart Pro Tools. Uh, there is another video on the ASIO for all driver showing that happen, but in this case, Pro Tools can control the buffer size and sample rate setting. So typically the rule for tracking is to use the lowest buffer size that you can. So in this case, it's going to be 64. And then while mixing, bump it up to maybe 512 or 1024. Uh, one thing to take note of is that there will be buffer size settings that won't be recognized within Pro Tools. So they have to be uh, basically doubled um, starting at 32. So 32, uh, 64 is the lowest in a lot of cases. And then 128... Uh, then from there, uh, we can go to 256. And then from there, we can go to 512. And double 512 to 1024. And then at higher sample rate settings, uh, we can sometimes use 2048. All of the buffer sizes in between those won't be recognized within Pro Tools, which means they're going to throw up an error. Uh, Pro Tools is going to start acting weird. Uh, something's going to tell you that it's not able to be recognized. So let's open up a session. 
And let's go to our I.O. settings under Setup. And in here, this should represent the ins and outs available of the interface that you installed. And then let's go over here to your ins and outs on the track. Um, if that isn't available there in your edit window, you can come over here and turn them on. And then the top here will show your inputs. And the bottom here will show your outputs available on the interface. Something else I want to address quickly uh, is that when using third-party interfaces, sometimes the low latency monitoring option is not going to work. Um, there's lots of variables here that's very hard to discuss. Um, but what you can do is go here to the control panel settings for your interface, and you can see if there's some type of a software option inside of here to turn on or off uh, direct monitoring. So I would recommend uh, reading the manual, going online, uh, experimenting and such to find out what will or will not work with your interface when it comes to low latency or direct monitoring. I would recommend going to the video now on the playback engine uh, if you have any questions about it and it will actually show you how to select different interfaces for Pro Tools uh, when you have multiple interfaces installed. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped and answered any questions you had and feel free to contact us. Mm -hmm.